In today's video, we are going to talk about Pyometra in female rabbits. Rabbits are some of the ideal pets to have because of how they tend to be easy to take care of compared to other types of domesticated animals. On top of that, rabbits are also generally good-natured and are quite docile animals that will not show any hint of aggression towards you, as long as you are actually taking care of it in the best way possible. However, what you should take into consideration here is that you should actually know how to properly take care of a rabbit and know some of the most common types of illnesses and conditions to understand how to prevent and cure them. One of such conditions is pyometra, which occurs in female rabbits. If you know what it is and how it works, it will be easier for you to take good care of your rabbit and keep it as healthy as possible. Cases of pyometra are surgical emergencies and the rabbit should be spayed as soon as possible in order to remove the infected uterus. The rabbit will also require medical support and antibiotics. The condition carries a high death rate, as the rabbit is often extremely sick before it gets to surgery. Pyometra Pyometra is something that you might not hear too often because of how it is not something that usually occurs in other types of animals. That is because this is an infection that almost exclusively occurs only in female rabbits. In some cases, it also occurs in smaller animals such as ferrets and even hamsters. However, it is really more common in female rabbits. As mentioned, pyometra is exclusive only to females. That is because it is a condition or an infection that affects the rabbit's uterus. It is commonly called a uterine infection, but its scientific term is pyometra. This is a very dangerous condition that can potentially become fatal if you are not able to treat it right away. That is why prevention and cure are necessary when it comes to uterine infection in your female rabbits. Causes there is a wide range of different causes that can potentially lead to pyometra. However, it is usually caused by organisms that can infect the female rabbit's uterus. One of the more common organisms that can lead to this infection is Pastorella multicida, which is bacteria that is usually the cause of different diseases in a lot of mammals and birds. It can even infect humans as a result of scratches and bites from different types of animals, such as pets like dogs and cats. The bacteria that causes the uterine infection is usually transmitted sexually from males to females. A male has to be infected for the bacteria to be transmitted over to the female. However, there are also other types of transmissions, such as when an infected male's nose happens to come into contact with the female's reproductive organ during mating. In some cases, this transmission can even occur in the middle of childbirth. There are also some cases when uterine infection happens outside of mating. The lining around the female rabbit's uterus is called the endometrium. This lining can sometimes have fluid buildup caused by a wide variety of reasons such as age, cancer, or the growth of different bacteria. As such, all those reasons can eventually pile up to cause an infection in the female rabbit's uterus. Symptoms There are plenty of different symptoms associated with pyometra in female rabbits. These may include the following. Lethargy Depression Poor appetite Paleness Aggression caused by its poor mood blood in the urine, fluid buildup in the uterus or the bloating of the abdomen caused by an enlarged uterus, infertility, stillborn pregnancies, general weakness, thick and yellow discharge from its reproductive organ, signs related to pregnancy even though the rabbit is not pregnant. If these symptoms are present in your female rabbit, it is high time for you to take it to the vet for it to receive immediate medical treatment. Most vets will tell you to go see an expert the moment you see blood in the rabbit's urine. Of course, if it is accompanied by one or more of the associated symptoms, there really is a need for you to take it to a doctor instead of just simply waiting for the rabbit to get better at home. Initial Stabilization If your pet presents with uterine infection, over hysterectomy is considered the best treatment option. However, it is vital to stabilize your rabbit prior to surgery. Intravenous fluid therapy may be given to your pet. Surgery Your rabbit will be placed under a general anesthetic using a gaseous agent. Your rabbit will have the fur of the stomach shaved and the skin carefully cleaned using surgical soap to provide an aseptic surgical site. Your veterinarian will then use a scalpel to make an incision along the linea alba and carefully extract the uterus including the cervixes and ovaries. Your veterinarian will carefully ligate the arteries and vessels attached to the organ and remove the uterine organ. Your veterinarian may inspect the surrounding tissue for further abscesses and flush the abdominal cavity with warm saline. An exudate sample should be taken for bacterial culture and antibiotic sensitivity to identify the causing agent of infection and identify the most effective antibiotic treatment. Long-term, systemic antibiotic therapy is often indicated. Analgesia 
If your pet is in discomfort prior to surgery your veterinarian may give systemic analgesia to provide pain relief in the form of opiates. NSAID should not be used prior to surgery due to their effect on the blood. Treatment There are no at-home remedies or treatments that can help cure pyometra in female rabbits. Instead, what you need to do is to leave the treatment up to the vet instead of taking it upon yourself to try to save money by treating it yourself. The most basic supportive care that you can do is to provide the female rabbit with prescribed antibiotics to try to minimize the infection. Meanwhile, in the case of heavy hemorrhaging in your rabbit, you may want to find suitable donors for a blood transfusion. In case you are getting a blood transfusion from another rabbit that you own, you may need to change its diet a bit by feeding it more greens and by decreasing the fat and carbohydrate intake of such a rabbit. The infected rabbit may also need a more specialized diet that is similar to the one giving it a blood transfusion. In the more extreme cases, there is a need for a surgical approach to remove the female's rabbit ovaries. This method has shown a lot of success in treating uterine infection in rabbits as surgery is also effective in removing other disorders such as an ovarian abscess or bacterial growth in the uterus. After the surgery is a success, antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs may be prescribed to try to help your rabbit manage the pain and inflammation post-surgery. Recovery of uterine infection in rabbits. The prognosis for your pet is good if uterine excision is successful and nutrition is commenced. Your rabbit will likely be treated with long-term, systemic antibiotics on an outpatient basis. Following surgery, it is essential your pet is provided with a warm, dark environment for recovery. Your rabbit will have sutures on the surgical site which should be monitored for signs of infection such as swelling or heat. Your veterinarian will be able to advise whether sutures require veterinarian removal or if they have chosen to use dissolvable sutures. Discuss pain relief options for your pet at home with your veterinarian. Your pet may require systemic analgesia to provide pain relief in the form of either NSAIDs or opiates. It is important to provide adequate pain relief in rabbits as pain is a major cause of anorexia in rabbits during your pet's recovery from surgery. Encourage nutrition by providing favorite foods along with fresh water, hay, and appetite stimulants such as parsley, carrot tops, and kale. Due to the risks of gastric stasis, hepatic lipidosis, and intestinal ileus caused by anorexia in rabbits, it is vital that your pet eats during recovery. Pyometra is indeed a serious and very expensive condition in female rabbits. It does not only lead to other conditions that can be fatal, but it may also bleed you dry because of all of the treatments and medications your rabbit needs to undergo and take for it to recover. As such, the moment you see any signs of uterine infection, you have to take it to the vet quickly for it to get treated and addressed early on without the need for it to undergo surgery. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.